we've had the need for activism since the dawn of time, of course, but I think that the, the Me Too movement in Time's Up really kind of has galvanized to a whole new level, like the solidarity of all the women in black last year um, was pretty profound, but it was just, like we said, not, I don't think it's a trend, I think it's a movement, and that was like a moment in a movement, and I think so many celebrities who do have a social platform or who choose to use their social platform, which is different than having one, I mean, I guess it's kind of the same, but I think that, you know, they're finding ways to really utilize their public facing like personas and who they are as people is kind of tied to what they believe in. I think it's amazing. It's kind of being on the right side of history. In a way, it's just like I don't really have time for brands who aren't supportive of the environment or the correct causes. Like there are brands I won't use because I don't politically align with them. And not politically as in you're a Democrat or a Republican. Obviously we have that divide nowadays and it's safe to say what side I'm on, but it's, this is a new form of currency, is activism. And you can use it really powerfully and for really good, and use it for good, for lack of a more loftier term. But I think, yeah, brands recognize the power of speaking up and aligning themselves with like-minded people. I think that the days of just being like, oh, I look pretty in a dress, which I love. We love celebrating fashion. We love wearing beautiful clothes, or, but they're coming a little bit to a close. And I think it's a good thing that there's different ways of using power. And I think there's a really nice way of not really caring also what the detractors are gonna say about it. I think if you're working with me, you know that I'm bringing more of a sustainable and a thoughtful and a conscientious approach to my work. So it's kind of a no-brainer here. And I support a lot of young designers and up and coming and I mean establishment of course, but there is an alignment for sure. That's just part of my work. The gr women I work with have a strong belief system and I don't have to agree all the time with them, but we're, we work in such a kind of very intimate um, community. So you spend like vulnerable time with each other and I think it, we're, we've created this kind of world where it's like we've relied, I rely, when they come in we rely heavily on each other like we talk about what's going on in the world so there's this really unique kind of space that's created of trust and beliefs and I'm such a big part of what they put out into the world so there it's important that we're aligned on stuff. You know of course you want to look great and you love getting the accolades from the peer group or the magazines or the blogs but I think the noise of best worst has really gone away. I think my clients know how they feel in the moment and that's what the what counts for me but it, yeah of course you want to look powerful or you want to look strong and what image you're projecting is more of what drives the car. I'm sure there are a lot of people who don't work with me because of my beliefs and how vocal I am and I, I just well I don't want to work with you and you know not to be like a kid about it but I can't why would I, that would be so sad if that was my thoughts, if like you didn't say something that was way more important than a dress. And if that is something, ooh, we don't want to work with her because of that, well, okay. I'm okay with that. And that's, I'm totally okay with my choices. I mean, a couple times I posted something, I was like, ooh, should I have said that? And then I'm like, no, I should have. I really don't, I'm not fear-based. I'm more fearful for, of what's going on in the world. There's been a massive bubbling of unease, of racial injustice, of the patriarchy, of everything that's gone wrong, and it's just, you know, time's up is the perfect slogan, it's the perfect name for the movement. Designers are finally becoming more inclusionary with sizing, with ages, like with dressing an older woman as opposed to just young stylists. And I think a lot of it has to do with how amazing roles are in TV for women and how Netflix has come and changed the game and streaming and taken the power away from movies in a way. And you have all these incredible women playing these incredible roles and designers have caught up and said, I want to dress her.